Hey, what's up guys? Jake with Legacy 4x4 here again, and today we're going to be prepping and painting the floor on the interior of my Jeepster Commando project. So I finished up all of the, the sheet metal work that needs to happen on the inside of this. It's to satisfaction. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prep it, then we're going to get ready, and then we're going to spray on some monster liner here at the end of this to kind of tie together the whole floor. <laughs> So before we get into the prep work, you can see I've added a few things to the Jeepster here on the interior. So I added this piece of um, two inch angle going along the whole roll cage here. This is where my dashboard is going to mount to. I did this so that it has a perfectly flat uh, mounting surface because this tube is all angled up. So this will give it a nice perfectly flat place to mount the dashboard to. It's just going to be a, a straight cut. I'm going to cut it on the plasma cutter. For that, I've come through and I tied together finally this little opening here. I added a plate down at the bottom of both sides for where the seats are going to mount. That will help level them out with the trans tunnel. Um, one mount's going to go here, one mount will go on there. Both of those are higher than the base floor. I built this little fuel cell mount back here. So my, my red eBay special fuel cell that I've got sitting on the gun safe over there, that's going to mount right here on top of this with some straps that I'm going to cut out on the plasma table. Um, the two inlets pop underneath this little piece of angle and then there's opening underneath the Jeep so the fuel lines will run underneath the Jeep and out but the fuel cell itself is going to sit right here. Alright, I also added this little Nerf hoop here. Um, this is just a little step that comes down about four and a half inches off the Jeep just to give it a little bit step into the Jeep. Um, I added one on both sides for that. I want to add a remote fill for the fuel cell back here. Um, but I'm going to do that a little bit later. I'm not going to bedline the cage itself. I'm only going to bedline the floor and any of the cage pieces that are on the floor. So that's going to come on a little bit later. And then I obviously, obviously still have to add the shifter boots, the seat mounting, and the steering column stuff. Um, that's all going to come on later. Like I said, it's all going to be bolt-on parts so I don't feel bad bedlining. All right, so to start this project out, we're going to go ahead and clean up the inside of this floor. I'm going to use a wire wheel and a flap disc, and I'm going to kind of get up all of that splatter that's in there from all the welding. I'm going to just clean up, scratch up, and really abuse the surface a little bit so I can get down some good adhesion on this bed liner. After that, I'm going to put down some Eastwood brushable seam sealer and some of the corners and in some of the areas just to help seal in what I've done and kind of keep water out from the inside of the Jeep. So we're going to go ahead and do that guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, there you go guys. You can see how that came on. It's in the process of drying right now. But you can see that I fully covered all of the seams where I've welded. It gives it a nice smooth look. And I mean, I will say, like, this is definitely a pretty solid product. It took me a second to get used to using it, just because it brushes on really heavy, because there's a lot of rubber and other stuff in there. But it does definitely work really well. You can see how it filled in all those gaps and how it smoothed everything out. All right, moving on, we're going to use the Monster Liner Roll-On Bed Liner Kit. I had one of these laying around from a previous Jeep project that I never actually used, so we're going to go and put it to use on this Jeep. Um, hopefully, we'll get the texture and the results we want. It has been sitting for about 18 months to two years now, so it is a little bit old, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So just, all right, to start off using the Monster Liner, you got to pour the activator into the gallon paint jug with all of the bed liner material in it. You're going to sit there and you're going to stir it in initially by hand and then you're going to use a power drill for three minutes 
uh, stirring constantly the entire time in short order to make sure that you get good mix for the bed liner. As you can kind of see in the corner, my wife decided that she wanted to come out and come hang out and wanted to paint the Jeep with me. So fortunately, she's going to sit here and she's going to help me with it. It's going to go really, really smoothly. She likes to paint. I hate painting, but she's out helping out doing some stuff on the Jeep. Now let's go ahead and get started on painting the bed liner in. Alright, so there we go. That was the process. You saw Justin and I roll that on. Um, Alright, so there we go guys. That was the process. Pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, you saw me scuff up the, the interior of the Jeep to get that metal something good to adhere to, or get that paint something good to adhere to. And then you saw me come through, do that seam sealer throughout all the edges. And then you saw Jess and I actually, uh, this is the first thing Jess has really ever helped with on the Jeep. Uh, she normally does not like the loud noises that are involved in the garage. But she came out and she helped me paint because she likes painting. And we went through and we bedlined the entire interior of the Jeep using the Roll-On Monster Liner kit. Super easy kit, turned out really good. I'm going to give you guys a shot right now of it. But you can see that turned out really nice. Alright, so now that we got this done, next step is going to be making some seat mounts, getting those nice new Corbeaux in there uh, all set up and ready to go, hanging in the fuel cell and doing a few more interior things before we move on to some Bondo and body work on the outside. Stick around guys, thanks for watching, take care.